We depend on city services every day. The Cincinnati Fire Department and in the near future, snow removal by Cincinnati Public Services as winter weather moves in for the season. But a new November 15th memo we obtained from City Hall shows a diesel supply and demand dilemma is kicking conservation efforts into high gear. Officials say there is a distribution disruption impacting several states. They say in Ohio, two refineries are performing maintenance, cramping production and impacting suppliers, including the cities. The memo says having shutdowns at both refineries at once is unprecedented. Officials also say labor shortages have added to the issue. The city manager has instructed departments to outline how they'll use diesel fuel from now until January 2022, determine essential and non-essential uses, and provide a report. The memo says the city has enough reserves for about three weeks of city services, but says it doesn't account for how much is needed if there's snow or flooding. It usually has a month's worth for emergencies. It also says a priority is placed on functions that impact health and safety, including Cincinnati Fire Department vehicles, water and sewer repair and maintenance services, snow removal vehicles, and garbage collection vehicles. A Cincinnati police spokeswoman says diesel is only used for SWAT vehicles, which aren't used every day. The memo also says effective immediately, city vehicles using diesel shouldn't be used for non-essential travel, among other measures. A city spokeswoman tells us the refinery maintenance typically takes about 30 days, and they expect the supply to increase sometime the week after Thanksgiving. All right, so in a statement to WLWT, the city says in part, quote, the strategic measures we are taking to conserve diesel fuel are necessary to prioritize services that impact health and safety. However, there is no need for residents to be alarmed. The spokeswoman also tells me they are still getting some small levels of fuel, but our numerous requests, as I say, for comment from the city were declined. Reporting live at City Hall, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. Dan, this is something else. Uh, have you heard from any of the refineries on this? Yes, because I did want to hear from them, Mike, and I heard from a spokesman from Husky Marketing and Supply Company. He told me that planning for this major maintenance that the city is referring to has been going on for more than a year ago. And he says during these maintenance programs, the company develops supply plans to meet the obligations. All right. Hopefully somebody will be talking soon on this. Uh, Dan Griffin, live for us at City Hall. Thank you.